Ruben, I just watched your carburetor video. Holy smokes, that's rust. Um, I see a couple of problems there. Obviously, the rust in the tank. Obviously, the rust in the fuel. Okay, that gasket deteriorating. The gasket itself can leak. I mean, I pulled a couple of carburetors here. The gasket itself can leak and ooze out the sides. I've even made them out of oak tag. That's not a problem. Part of the problem is, is let me go with this car right here because at least has one tube on it. You have the pump here. Okay, that works from the pulse of the intake stroke. And it draws it up. When it draws it up, it sprays it right out there. Okay, and that's when it comes down and fills up your well. And then it's picked up by the short tube, which this one doesn't have a short tube. So when you're looking at this carburetor quick, there's a mounting hole, that's a mounting hole, the mounting hole here is broken off. This has the short tube, which goes into your well. This has your long tube, and it pulses out of here. Okay, with that gasket doing whatever it was doing, that might be a problem right there. Okay, when you brought it to the shop, he probably just richened it up, and I compensated for it. But the gasket was already deteriorated, okay, and then you ran it some more and you had a problem. Now this carburetor here, okay, if you notice the tube is on the other side. This is, this is the long one, this is the short one. This one here, I've, I've shown this carburetor before, the long tube here, and the diaphragm, I mean the diaphragm's still in there, but the diaphragm doesn't do anything anymore. This no longer draws it up here and pushes it out into that well. This is sealed, this is sealed. The long tube is on the jet side, and this just runs a jet straight up. I mean, this thing is severely modified. This type of carburetor, like I said, I had gotten that thing, I just, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Something tells me that that, car's going to, that carburetor is going to be a nightmare. But this is the same deal here with no tubes on it. Like I said, it's this passage here that goes back down into that tank. I don't have a tank to show you. I don't even have a tank to give you. The only tanks I have are being used. This one, the ones you see over there, even though that, that orange one's actually different, it's the same size tank, but the bracket on the bottom shorter because it's three and a half horse. And the other tanks on here, uh, that's pretty much all I have in Briggs and Stratton tanks. And uh, there is different tanks that you have to be aware of when you, if you buy yourself a replacement tank, the location of this screw changes. You have to get a tank with this screw in the right location, or the tank will have two screw holes. Okay, I'm looking at these. Every one of these is the relocated hole relocated hole I'm gonna walk over with this one because it has no tubes on it and I'm gonna show you the difference because this is very important when you buy your tank Ow. I'll just watch your head on the speaker box okay Come on, don't make a liar out of me. No, this one looks like it's exactly the same. I think that's part of your problem. I think that's part of your main problem was that gasket. I've never seen that happen to a gasket. Consider one that's only a couple of months old. Truthfully, nothing really touches the gasket except for the center. Even when the gaskets loosen up, I've never seen that happen to it. So, either clean that tank out, uh, I've seen some people, they'll put like uh, quarter inch nuts in it, a bunch of quarter inch nuts and just start shaking the tank and shaking it to break the rust off. And uh, then they'll coat it with some of the stuff you buy from like Eastwood or whatever it is. Um, we actually did that on one of our go-kart motors 20 years ago. And believe it or not, the alcohol didn't eat it, didn't eat it away. Uh, but like I said, you take care of that tank. You put a new gasket on, okay, I think you're going to be good. 
I think your problem is actually the gasket at this point. You know what I'm saying? I think you can clean some of that rust out of the tank and keep going. The carburetor that's on my riding mower, or the gas tank that's on my riding mower, uh, when I bought it from the guy, he says, listen, it's rusty inside. It's not, it hasn't given me trouble, but just so you know, we had that thing, what, two years now? We used it eight hours to move Rich at work. Eight hours with a trailer behind it, with that thing screaming at almost 7,000 RPM. And never had a problem with it. So when I noticed rust in there, he, the guy even put magnets on the outside of the tank, which is another, another uh, alternative. Got your magnets. If you line the side of your tank away from the pickup tube with those magnets, it'll draw all that rust and crap to one side. So, just looking to keep it inexpensive for you, Ruben. But replacement tanks, like that's a replacement tank. I'm not sure how much they cost. I know when you go on eBay, it's very hard to find these tanks for whatever reason. But try and get yourself a tank that the gas cap is flat on. Okay? Don't buy yourself a tank that the gas cap, they chopped this corner and the gas cap is on an angle like that. Because that one will definitely have the other screw hole. And if it's not double drilled, you can't put it on. So, and make sure when you get a, a tank, make sure you know the measurement of this right here, Ruben. Know the measurement of this bracket. Because when these things are off the motors, this looks just like a three and a half horsepower tank. Except the deck is taller on a four and a five. So it will not bolt down to the bottom down there. And all other problems. So, just things for you to know, Ruben. So, let me know what you do. It's late. I'm going to, uh, I'll upload this for you. Then I'm going to bed.